Hi again, let's see now how we can control the power state of the PC from the iRule uh, app in the iPad. Uh, I'll continue building on my simple test device, uh, adding a couple of buttons. I'll add an XBMC button that I'll use to start XBMC on the PC eventually. Uh, and then just a couple of power buttons. I'll use one for standby and one for shutdown and maybe I can also use one for startup. We'll see. Uh, okay so buttons back on the device add a couple of network codes one for each button obviously I'll have one called start XBMC and in the data section enter UDP dot start XBMC second one I call sleep UDP dot sleep next one is shut down UDP shut down And I'll try one called startup as well. I'm not sure I'll be able to use that, but let's try it. Wake up. UDP. Wake up. Uh, I'll use the same URL widget for this test as I did in the previous one. Okay, so now I'll just tie those codes to the buttons. And then sync and generate onto the iPad and see you in Event Ghost. Okay, here we are over in Event Coast. First thing I want to do is check in the options that I have the Auto Start Event Coast on System Startup checkbox box checked. Always want the Event Coast to be running. And then also something I didn't do yesterday in the Auto start section of event ghost. Let's make sure that we have always have an initial value for our variables. That's good programming practice. So just a Python command setting the ag dot globals dot test equal to Revo two is running. So that will be assigned as soon as the uh, the PC started the first time. Then let's create macros, one macro for each of the buttons that I created in iRO. I'll just put a comment in for now. So this one will be the sleep macro. And I'll create similar for the other ones as well. Time is running out so I'll continue in the next screen. This is Cap 